Good evening. I should be sitting right there, but I'm sitting here because I want to stand, okay? So. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Ann Brandon, the uh, president of the League of Women Voters of Albany County, and I want to welcome you all to our debate tonight. It's wonderful to see so many of you here. And I have uh, only about a half hour speech here. Um, I also want to thank our co-sponsor, the Spotlight newspaper, and the Bethlehem Town Hall, which is uh, hosting us tonight. Uh, the League of Women Voters never supports or opposes candidates. We do forums so that voters can learn more about the candidates, all of them. So when we go to the polls, we're a little more educated about who we're voting for. The candidates that are running for the position of town, Bethlehem Town Supervisor, are the ones that are going to be speaking tonight. And they are Jack Cunningham, who is the incumbent town supervisor, and Sam Messina, who is a, a current town councilman. Mr. Cunningham uh, has the Democratic line, and Mr. Messina has the Republican, Conservative, and Working Families Party line. And they are going to be on the ballot for the primary, which is fifth, uh, September 15th. So any of you who are involved in the Independence Party, you will be able to vote in the primary on September 15th to decide which one of them will have the Independence Party line on the ballot in November. I don't know if you've been giving in, given index cards yet, but you should be getting index cards to write questions for the candidates. Because this is your debate, and there's going to be all of the questions, or as many as we can fit in, that you give us to ask them. So when you uh, write a question down, uh, just raise your hand and someone will collect it and then we will pass them on to the moderator. The questions themselves must be neutral in tone and answerable to both candidates. Questions may be consolidated by the moderator if they're rep repetitive or they may be reworded or withheld altogether if they're provocative or personal. <coughs> The candidates have chosen lots to determine the order in which they speak. For the opening statement, the order is Mr. Cunningham and then Mr. Messina, and then they will close in the opposite order. They'll begin with a three-minute opening <coughs> statement. Then we'll start questions with a different person starting off each answer with two minutes allotted for each answer. A lead volunteer, Marianne Lateau, is going to be keeping track of the time and we'll give the candidates sufficient notice of remaining time. And the closing statements will be up to three minutes. The total time for the debate will be 90 minutes, one hour and a half. And the Bill DeVoe, who is the managing editor of the Spotlight, will be moderating the debate tonight. No signs are allowed, uh, nor demonstrations pro or con for any candidate. And this is important. Please, please, hold your applause until after the closing statements because we do want, don't want applause to be taking up the time of the 90 minutes. We want to get as many questions in as we can. We ask that there be no private photos or taping of any kind. I'm almost done. We have a league table set up in the back next to that exit, so I hope you all go out that exit afterwards because we have voter registration forms there if you want them. But more importantly, we have the facts for voters and a handout which describes the, um, the voting of the new, with the new digital image scanner. As you know, we are not going to be using our our wonderful lever machines that we all love much longer. And in the town of Bethlehem, for this election season, the Board of Elections has decided that some of our districts should be using the new voting equipment. 
So we will be using paper ballots, and then we will have a scanner that we put the paper ballot in. And there is a, just a paper that's described how you do it there. It's pretty easy, really. I looked at the demonstration. And also the voter's guide tells about it. This is the voter's guide, so be sure to pick up one. This is the, uh, the piece, piece of paper about the scanner. So I think that's pretty much it. I just have one um, other thing I wanted to say. Since, uh, since the League of Women Voters is co-sponsoring this, we want to get our little um, voice in about the meeting we have, are having on September 22nd at uh, St. Sophia's on Whitehall Road, which is going to be about New York State government consolidation and shared services. There's been some talk about that to save money because everybody is looking for money these days. So we have three excellent panelists coming up and we have some flyers about that too, so put one of those up too. So I think without further ado, there's still more empty seats up here. You guys don't have to um, stand up. And if you, anybody want a card that doesn't have a card, Index card? Okay. Okay, so we will welcome our candidates and Mr. DeVoe, who will be moderating the debate. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. We promise to have a fair and hopefully spirited debate, one that will no doubt benefit the residents of Bethlehem. Uh, so the, uh, the proceeds tonight, or the, uh, the event tonight, is being uh, videotaped for Channel 18, Bethlehem Public Access, and will be uh, available for viewing uh, before the primary. Uh, election and will also be hosted on uh, the Spotlight's website, spotlightnews.com. Uh, so without further ado, if we could have the uh, the candidates join us on stage uh, and get our opening statements underway. Mr. Cunningham, you are, you are first. Okay, thank you. I'd like to start this evening by first thanking uh, the League of Women Voters and Spotlight for sponsoring this event and giving us the opportunity to talk to you all tonight about the future of the town of Bethlehem. I'd like to thank all of you all tonight also for being out here and uh, participating in the, this event and uh, learning more about what one of us will be planning to do with the future of our town. Uh, for those of you who know me, I grew up here in town and I have a, a, a deep affection for this community and for the residents that live here. Uh, I've served as supervisor for the last two years, and I've worked very closely with our town board and with the professionals in, our town, in, the, in the town offices here to address the issues that, uh, that affect our town and to try and move our town forward in the right direction. We've, had, we've made some great progress over the last year, over the last two years. Uh, as, as far as our financial situation goes, we've made changes to our uh, retirement health plan which maintains the benefits for our retirees, but has reduced the cost by hundreds of thousands of dollars each year for the town. We've established, uh, with our uh, ambulance partners, we've established a revenue recovery plan that allows us to charge back to insurance companies for ambulance service, reducing the cost of ambulance service to the residents of the town. Uh, two weeks ago, the town board acted to cut over a million dollars in expenditures out of our budget to recognize the shortfalls that we're realizing due to the economic downturn. We focused on economic development here in town with the Vista Technology Park. And looking forward, we've been working to uh, develop the Selkirk Yard Industrial Zone. And we're looking for other opportunities to bring in commercial, in, in commercial industry in order to underwrite our tax base. 